Hello and welcome to this lesson. This is part two of our lesson where we've been modeling the exterior of this building as you can see from here. So in part one, we had to model up to here. Now before I continue, I just want to ask you to subscribe to my channel and also like the video. So let's go ahead and complete you know, this model up to this stage. So I'll just, you know, open this one. And what I'm going to do, I'll just go to south here and check where I want to place my roof. That is roof. Okay. That is the level is named as roof. So I'll go back there and just open the roof there. And before I continue, let me just close this one. Okay. Okay. As you can see, we are at roof level. Then I need to, you know, model my roof there. Make sure that you just go to architecture there then go to roof then roof by footprint then under the properties there pick the type of the roof that you want to model i'm going to use the code roof concrete click on it okay then what i'm going to do i'll make sure that i select the base level as roof and then the base offset negative 400 okay move inside so i'm set with the parameters here then on top there i'll just deactivate the slopes there okay then go to draw panel there under the draw i'll just use the rectangle there so that i can sketch a rectangle from that point up to that point and just click on the green check mark like that then go back to the 3d view you see that you have the roof right there okay now let's model our columns right there i'll go back to level one okay this is my level one then go to architecture then click on column you can use the structural architectural column i'm going to use the architectural column then under the properties right here i'll click there and just pick this one as a starting point then make sure that you click on edit edit type and duplicate and i want this column to be 500 by 400 millimeters then click on ok and change the dimensions from here this one is going to be 500 and this one is going to be 400 millimeters okay then click on okay now here make sure that you pick the height okay and then the height the level make sure that you pick on roof okay then i'll just move in my cursor there just click my space bar there to rotate it like that then i'll just place my column one column there and the other column right there then click on modify then I can go to modify there, okay, and click on align, then pick that grid there, then click there to align the column there. And then pick the grid there and the column and you see that it aligns, okay? And click on modify or escape on your keyboard. Let me go back to my 3D view, you see that I have the two columns right there. Now let me model the top part of the roof, okay? Then what I'm going to do I'll just go to, to the roof as a level, okay, just click on roof there, okay, then I'm, I'm just going to go to architecture, then click on roof, you can even use floor if you want, then I'll click roof by footprint, then I'm going to use the same type for the roof, okay, then here we have the roof and then the base offset I want to have a positive value of, let me start with 400, right? Or let me put 500. Then I'll go under draw there, make sure that I pick rectangle. And I'm just going to, you know, sketch my roof from that point up to that point somewhere there. If you want, you can, you know, change the spacing or the dimension from here. For example, if I want from the face of that wall to the end of the roof to be maybe 1000 i can specify from there 1000 right there then if i want from the edge to there you know to the face of the wall i can just move these temporary dimensions like that then i can change it to 300 let me go to this one also select on the magenta line make sure that the temporary dimension is ending on the face of that wall from there 
drop it like that then change this one to 300 and click outside okay i can click i i, I can equally adjust on the other side there but i'm done here i'll just click on the green check mark here then go to my 3d view you see that i have the roof on top right there then what i'm going to do i'm just going to attach these columns to my the top part of the roof there i'll just select on the column there then click on attach top base once you do that click on the roof there okay click outside select the column there click on attach click on the roof okay so we have the columns attaching to the roof okay now what i'm going to do we have some short columns there joining from the that floor there to the top of the roof okay if i want i can use the column or i can just you know use an extrusion okay can model it in place and that's what i'm going to use to do that i'll go to architecture then first of all set my work plane to be on top of the roof i'll pick on set there then just pick a plane okay click ok then i'll pick the you know the top face of the roof like that click there once you do that if i want to check if the work plane is there i can show the plane you see that that is my plane i'll deactivate it then what I'm going to do, I'll go to architecture, then under the component there, just click, then you are going to use model in place. Click right there, and from here, I'm just going to use a casework, okay? Then click on, okay, or if I want, I can use a column. Let me go back there, click there, model in place, I can use the column, okay? Then click on, okay, and I'll call it column one, and click on okay from here as i said i'll just use an extrusion so click on extrusion there you are in the sketch mode okay so i'll just maintain the depth as 250 okay then go to the draw tools here and i'm just going to use the circle there and i just want to place my first no column right there you know i'll place it there click on modify then i'll just go on top there on top of this roof and change you know the view style to wireframe i just want to see where my wall is then i'll just you know drag there i'll just place it there then copy this one by just holding control okay and dragging i'm holding the control and the left you know mouse button and i'll just place it there okay release it there then i'll just click the house there then change the visual style there to shade it okay and orbit like that then i'll click on the green check mark making sure that i'll start with you know actually i want this one to be 500 because that was the the offset from the level so i want this to to attach there okay then click on the green check mark there you see that they are those two columns are supposed to attach there but if it's not attaching maybe okay it's not attaching so what you can do you can still use those you know arrows as you can see from there you're able to drag it until it touches there like that and click outside okay as you can see i have the two columns then click on the finish there to complete this command now let's finish you know the modeling by creating those railings in in front there and what i'm going to use is um, i'll just go to architecture there okay then if i go to wall there architectural wall remember the tools that we use for our windows there i'm just going to use a you know a curtain wall okay that's what i'm going to use so before i do that let me just go to level one and this is where i want to create my curtain wall and you see how i'm going to adjust it for the railing on top right so click there click on curtain wall click on edit type then duplicate and i'll just call it railing okay then i'll call it I'll, I'll just click on okay and click on okay now this is just a wall so i want to offset it from the base okay this is level one from here to there is level one and i just want to offset it base offset maybe to uh, three thousand okay then the top okay i'll maintain and connect it you see that i should be able to adjust it later so what i'm going to do i'll just you know pick the line there and place it from there up to somewhere there then i can't see it because i've you know indicated an offset okay so it cannot be seen in this level okay so if i just go to my 3d 
view there you see that i have that wall then i can select on it and simply drag it you know i want it to maybe to end up to somewhere there okay if i don't want my railing to go all the way up to the top i can just end it right there then i'll just go in front there as you can see from here and i just want to place the grids where my railings will be right so i'll just go to architecture then click on you know grid okay so if i hover my cursor on the on the vertical side i'm able to place my grid like that so i can place the first grid there then i can continue maybe the grids are supposed to be at you know 300 okay or if i want if i just place them at random i can click on modify then go to uh, annotate okay i'm in the 3d view i can't use the annotate tool here but if i just checked one of the elevations here right here should be west okay you see that i'm able to see those lines i want you go to annotate align dimension and put the you know the dimensions there i want these you know railings to be equally spaced so if i just click outside here i can click eq okay if i just click there you see that those are equally spaced just click on modify and i can simply delete you know the the dimension from here or just from your keyboard click on okay let me go back to my 3d view as you can see from here now it's just a matter of placing you know those mullions okay so what i'm going to do go to architecture click on mullion so from here you can pick you know the mullion there to save as a railing okay so what i'm going to use is 50 millimeter radius okay i'll just pick that one and just pick on my grids like that and you see that i have those you know mullions then click on modify if i just click on the house there and orbit you see that i have my my railings now maybe i want to adjust it a bit if the spacing again is not what you are looking for it's you know it's too wide you can still go ahead and edit it but what i'm going to do i'll just you know delete that click there okay now i don't want to have you know those panels there because i just want to see those bars so what you can do make sure that you select just tab you are able to select that okay then once you select there you can delete you can don't delete but just make sure that you click there and use empty okay make sure that you use empty there click outside you see that nothing will be seen there so you can go ahead and you know select all these and make sure that you pick empty there so this is the quickest way of you know creating those features like railings and other things that you can think of creating okay so let me finish up this one change to empty tab from your keyboard to select it pick on it and click on empty click outside and finally this one there make sure that you click on tab select on it and click on empty just like that so as you can see this is the model we have it as we wanted it to be so once again to motivate me make sure that you subscribe to my channel i'll be making sure that i upload you know a, a video starting from architecture structure so currently i'll be uploading videos on robot structure analysis revit structure and you know revit architecture so make sure that you subscribe so that you can watch all the lessons for free